हेलो फ्रेंड्स टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज स्लीव गेस्टेक्टमी स्लीव गेस्टेक्टमी हैज बिकम द मोस्ट पॉपुलर वेरिएट्रिक सर्जरी वर्ल्ड वाइड एज वेल एज इन इंडिया एंड हेंस वी थॉट ऑफ मेकिंग अ वीडियो ऑन दिस सर्जरी प्रॉबेबली द मोस्ट कॉमन रीजन फॉर दिस पॉपुलरिटी ऑफ दिस प्रोसीजर इज द सिंप्लिसिटी ऑफ द ऑपरेशन एज वेल एज द सेफ्टी एसोसिएटेड विद दिस सर्जरी we do not touch any part of the small intestine and only the size of the stomach is being reduced that is the reason why surgeons feel as well as the patients feel that this is likely to be the simplest of all bariatric surgeries being performed today this does not mean that this is the best bariatric surgery of all the given options but for a suitable patient this can be the best option if chosen wisely so what is sleeve gastrectomy sleeve gastrectomy involves the reduction in size of the stomach we calibrate the stomach as per the standard bougie is available in the market bougie is kind of a tube that is inserted into the mouth of the patient and then it crosses the food pipe and then it inserts into the stomach we take it towards the small intestines first part and whatever stomach is left after this bougie whatever is the extra stomach apart from the size of this bougie that is being removed with help of endo staplers firing of the endo stapler enables us to divide the stomach without opening the stomach as well as preventing any bleeding so after sleeve gastrectomy there will be multiple effects in the body first of all the upper part of the stomach which is known as the fundus of the stomach that will be removed and that is the part which contains ghrelin hormone which is the main hunger hormone and as soon as the stomach goes out of the body the hunger starts decreasing and next day morning patients feel much less hungry as compared to the previous life this also means that now less food is required to fill the residual small stomach and as soon as the patient starts eating or drinking something they start feeling full with very small amount of food and they do not feel they are hungry because the small amount of food will be giving them as much satiety as large amount of food before surgery so this makes them happy all the time and leads to a good weight loss and a prolonged weight loss third effect is that before surgery because of the larger stomach the food takes longer time to go and pass through the small intestine and more foods gets absorbed into the body whereas after the surgery since stomach is much smaller so the food passes through the intestines much quickly and less food gets absorbed into the body again leading to weight loss the fourth very important effect of sleeve gastrectomy is that since the amount of food is passing more quickly there are lot of hormonal changes which happen in the body which take care of the metabolic diseases associated with obesity like high blood pressure high diabetes high blood sugars dyslipidemia high cholesterol and other diseases which are associated with obesity they start becoming much better or they get resolved very soon after the procedure is done so after surgery patient's requirement of food is more whereas the intake is much less slowly this weight will keep on going down and the intake will become a little more because the stomach will also dilate a little and eventually this will balance off between 3 months to 1 year depending upon how much weight a patient has to lose usually the resultant weight or the end weight is at the upper limit of what is normal range for the patient patients do fear that they may not lose too much of weight whereas in reality the upper end of the normal weight is what usually where patients stop losing weight since no part of intestine is being bypassed as in bypass procedures so whatever patient is eating will be mostly absorbed and the deficiency of vitamins minerals and proteins the chances will be much less as compared to a bypass procedure this does not mean that patient does not have to take supplements in sleeve also we will be giving supplements in the form of multivitamins and also we recommend a high protein diet so that the muscle mass of the body remains as much as we want once patient starts losing weight along with fat some part of protein will also be lost so to minimize the loss of protein we want good protein intake after any bariatric surgery the main downside of the procedure is that this is a very simple procedure and as the time goes on if patient start eating more and more food the residual stomach will also start dilating and then a weight regain in the late stages may happen the weight regain can happen after any bariatric surgery but since there is no bypass component involved in sleeve so you may have more re weight regain in case you take high calorie food more carbohydrates more fats or hard drinks so these things can lead to more weight regain if you are not careful with your diet after the procedure in the long run patients do feel that since the part of the stomach is being removed so sleeve gastrectomy cannot be reversed yes technically it cannot be reversed because part of the stomach has been removed but eventually as the time goes on this residual stomach is going to dilate a little and this will cause a kind of a natural reversal of the procedure 
partially. So who should be considering this surgery? There are no hard set guidelines to decide a type of surgery. But in our practice, we prefer if the patient is not too obese, meaning that if the BMI is roughly up to 40, then we can offer the sleeve. And if the patient does not have diabetes or a very high metabolic component, again, this sleeve can be offered. But in case they have diabetes, we have seen that bypass results are better in the long run. So we will offer a bypass instead of a sleeve in cases of patients who are diabetic. The safety of sleeve is considered to be better as compared to bypass in cases where females are yet to conceive. For high risk patients like patients who have other diseases which lead to some kind of threat during surgery, in such patients also a simpler procedure like sleeve is considered to be better as compared to a bypass. For elderly patients who are very frail, again a sleeve can be considered. For patients who are too obese and too much of a risk for a bypass surgery, a sleeve can be quickly done, you can reduce their weight and in case a second surgery is required, a second procedure can be added to a sleeve in the later stage. For patients who need to take some kind of a chronic medicine, again a sleeve can be a preferred choice because the medicine will be well absorbed after surgery and after a bypass, the absorption of medicines may be a little aberrant. In which patients in our practice, we avoid sleeve gastrectomy. So again, patients who are too obese, we feel that the bypass can give a better result like patients with BMI more than 40 or 45. Patients who are diabetic, we feel that bypass can give a better result. So in these cases, we will try to avoid sleep. Also in patients who have lot of reflux symptoms or GERD or hiatus hernia, again, we feel that sleep can aggravate the symptoms and sleep should be avoided. There are no hard and fast rules in choosing a procedure. Once patient comes to us, we will take a detailed history, do all the evaluation, give them all the information that they need and then eventually a collective decision is taken between a patient as well as a surgeon, also involving their family and eventually we reach a conclusion that this procedure is probably the best for a given patient. What are the long term precautions that you must remember after sleep gastrectomy? Well, do not forget that you have undergone a procedure for weight loss and patients who have excessive weight or morbid obesity remains a tendency to regain weight for rest of your life. So always be cautious with your diet. Do take your supplements in the long run as has been described by your doctors and take the diet as prescribed by your team. Also keep a watch on your comorbidities. If you had diabetes or high blood pressure or any other disease before surgery, keep on monitoring that and report back to your team in case it reoccurs. Do your investigations, blood tests, scans as prescribed by your team as on time that you have been told to. Do not forget to undergo regular evaluation or see your team at least once a year either physically or by an online appointment. Do a good amount or at least a moderate amount of physical activity for rest of your life to maintain your good muscle strength. We also have a lot of other videos on bariatric surgery which you can go and always have a look at. Do like, comment and share and also subscribe our channel if you like our videos. Thank you and wishing you a healthy life.